Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I am joined by Peter Clark. How are you doing Peter? I'm good, thanks. Uh, let's get straight to it. You're strength and conditioner for Yuri Fury and Savannah Marshall. That's right, yeah. Uh, how long have you been doing it? Hey, I've been with them for about two months now. Yeah, yeah. enjoying it. Yeah, really enjoying it. Good. You can see big differences uh, with Huey and Savannah already with the yeah. strength and, and the conditioning, the fitness, everything's all coming together nicely. I've just been looking at Huey and he looks, uh, he looks uh, fantastic, doesn't he? He's yeah. got a bit of a tan as well, hasn't he? Yeah, oh yeah. He's got an old or is he? Uh... <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's a bit of a false tan, I think. So, where are you based at, Brian Peter? Hey, at the minute, we're, we're based out of Salford City Boxing Academy. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, that, that's where we do most of our training. Yeah. And, uh, um, yeah, everything's, we, we're in twice a day, every yeah. day, yeah, uh, Monday to Friday, yeah, and then once on a Saturday, so he only has Saturday afternoons and uh, Sundays off at the minute. Yeah. So, have yeah. Have you been uh, getting Peter doing some sprints? Is that done? That I have, one? yeah. I've, Has I've, been, I've been getting Peter in as well. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's trying to lose a little bit, so. He looks uh, like he's uh, been doing a bit himself, actually. Yeah, he has. He's, he's been doing really well. He's sat in yeah. there having something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> How important is strength and conditioning to boxing now? For example, obviously I'm 49 years of age and I'm from an era where fighters, they got up in the morning, they had the porridge, then they went back for a couple of hours, then they went in for a dinner session and that. How has it changed and yeah, evolved? Boxing's evolved massively over the yeah. years and, and the way the boxers condition the bodies it has yeah. just changed. So, you know, as, as time and as other t other boxes evolve. Everybody has to evolve with it, so that's where yeah. the, the training evolves with it. So you know the, the stuff that I'm that I'm doing with Huey and Savannah, mm -hmm. it's more explosive speed way to be able to, to, to trigger them the moves that they're going to emulate in the ring. So mm -hmm. you know we're doing all the explosive moves, all the explosive work, uh, the, the muscle endurance work, the mm -hmm. cardio work, everything what they're going to need to get through yeah. uh, a hard twelve rounds of boxing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Huey, obviously, for his last fight, he looked to me personally as if he'd lost a little bit of weight. Yeah. And he looked leaner and looked like he, he had a bit more definition to him. Is that what you're going to be adding? Or? Yeah, well, I, th I think for Huey's last fight, I think he was too light. He was, yeah. he was, he was 16 stone. You know, Huey's just under 6 foot 7. Yeah, 6 foot 6 and 3 quarters. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. He's, he's, a, he's a big lad and he's got a big frame. So, mm. realistically, for me, and for me speaking to Peter, I want him to be more 17 stone, so I think he needs to be a stone heavier, mm. but a stone heavier of, of lean gains, you know, so that's that's what I'm that's what I'm aiming to do with Huey at the minute. We're, get, we're not losing any of his fitness, not losing any of his speed, but getting him heavier and stronger with more explosive power, because I think that's some of the things that he's been missing in, in his fights up yeah. to now, is, uh, is being able to produce that explosive power, have that little bit of weight behind him, have that little bit of extra strength, yeah. Where he's going to be able to move some of the, the bigger heavyweights that he comes up against the round ring. Yeah. Do you think that you uh, will be having a style develop more for going for the knockout now? Do you think, or do you think he'll, he'll, he'll just you're just doing it to get him stronger? What yeah, no, like the, the, the boxing side of things, it's solely like Peter does the the, the, yeah, uh, the boxing yeah. side of things. So for me, uh, for what I'm doing, I'm I'm making sure that he's got. 12 good rounds in him. Yeah. He's, he's, you know, his fitness is there for them full 12 rounds, and I want him to be able to produce, produce that knockout power yeah. from the first round right the way through to the 12th yeah. round. So I want him to have that explosive power there in the tank, ready to go yeah. at, at any stage when he needs to, to call upon it throughout mm -hmm. the fight. So, you know, have, having that little bit of extra weight behind him, having the cardio, which is going to get him right the way through, and, and everything else that comes with it is what we're, is what yeah. we're, we're aiming to produce. Yeah, that's brilliant. Uh, you were just uh, 25, I mean, last, yeah. last week or so, last two yeah, weeks or something. Yeah. So he's, he's basically 25 years of age. He's. How can I explain it? He's been in with a lot of great fighters, hasn't he? Yeah, that's, yeah. He's got a lot of experience. Uh, yeah. A lot has been made that Yui 
is under 30 with a next sort of kind of like generation. Uh, how can I explain it? Well, the top 25 fighters, there's eight of them, all under 30, because Joshua is 30 next week, so yep. you can't count him in that bunch. Okay. Yui is the third youngest out of like eight. Do you feel that? There's plenty of time on his side compared to people that are saying he should be doing this and that. Yeah. I don't think personally there's any rush me, do you? No, you know, he's just turned 25. Yeah. The experience that he's had in, yeah. the, in the fights that he's had yeah. is, you know, it's it's far beyond the experience that anybody else has yeah. got. You know, you, you can't buy that experience, no matter how much sparring you do, mm -hmm. um, no matter how much work you do in a gym. That ring experience, getting in with them world class yeah. boxers, yeah, yeah. that experience is, is invaluable, you know what I mean? So, the experience that he's got, it's going to count for a lot in his future fights. Yeah. And the small changes, because Huey's got, he's, he's got the full package, you know, he's young, he's fit, he's a, he's a good boxer, you know, he's got a great style. And just the very, very small changes, that, that, yeah, that's it, very small tweaks that, that's being made to his style and to his boxing is what's going to make him stand out from everybody else. And do you think that uh, you is lacked this knockout power? Or do you think he just had to turn it on when he's wanted to do it? Do you think that's a bit of experience? Yeah, I, I think, I, I don't think it's, it comes down to, to the experience. I think there's, there's been, you, you know, I don't want to let, let too much out of the bag yeah, what we've yeah. been working on in yeah. the gym. But you'll see in his future fight made. And in the past, in his past fights, he hasn't really been able to, to let his hands go. And I think that's one thing that a lot of people have noticed. He's, he struggled with getting that rear hand off a lot. Yeah. Um, but the changes that we've made and what we've seen in the gym, um, I think people are going to see a, a different Huey Fury when, yeah. when he comes out next time round. That's brilliant. Uh, looking at the, f the three defeats that Huey's got on his record, uh, looking at it from my point of view, right, and I get a lot of stick for this, I think he beat Parker. Yeah. Right? And then I look at the pool left fight, well, I was there in camp when he got cut. Yeah. And they rolled the dice, didn't they? And the cut opened up, and the referee were going to stop it. That's so, I, I don't count that. They are losses, but I don't count them that. There's a story behind them losses. Yeah. I look at the Povetkin fight, and he's ranked across the board the fifth best heavyweight in the world at the moment. You've got. Yeah. Obviously, Wilder, Joshua, Ruiz, and Tyson, they're the top four. However, do you want to put them in? Yeah. Then you've got Povetkin, and then it goes down from there onwards. I put, oh, sorry, where do you put Yui in the top 20 at the moment? Where would you rank him? Yui's definitely in the top 10. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You know, out, outside of obviously the, the ones that you've mentioned who've yeah. who been acting, have been fighting, Huey's definitely up there, and he can and he can push on. Mm. You know, for what for what we see in the gym every single day, yeah. he lives the lifestyle. He, mm. he doesn't go partying. You know, he, he lives the lifestyle of a professional boxer. Yeah. He's dedicated. He's hungry, and he's I ready. Seen his plate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he, oh, he can eat. Yeah, he's eating right. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm looking after his, uh, his diet for him as yeah, well, making absolutely. sure that he uh, he's, he's getting all the, the calories and that he needs all the right stuff. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, so basically, what what you're saying then is, outside of them top five, any of the other top fifteen can beat anybody, can't they? They're all vying for that rep, top six spot yeah. kind of thing. Right? You could get a guy. David Price, he's ranked 20, Chisora's ranked 12. Price could easily beat you, Chisora can if he catches Yeah, him, definitely, yeah. Um, so basically, you can beat any of them coming yeah, out in a easily. Day. You know, you look, you look at Huey's three defeats, mm -hmm. he's been it with some big shots, yeah. but he's never been phased by any of them. Mm -hmm. And yeah. nobody, nobody that he's fought has ever. Given, yeah, no, nobody's ever dropped him. Nobody's ever given him a, a real boxing lesson. Yeah. You know, he's frustrated everyone that he's fought. Yeah. He's he's been able to take every shot that's thrown at him, and it's all been about just being able to let his hands go. If Huey had been able to let his hands go and release some more punches in the Pavekin fight, he'd have won that fight. Yeah. You know, Pavekin came at him. Pavekin was frustrated. Mm. Huey was great. You see him in the first few rounds, the head movement, the body movement, the footwork that he's got. Mm. He's got the full package, and and it was all just about letting them punches go. And if he, if he let them punches go, you know there, there was there was one stage where he, he switched it up a bit, and he caught Pavekin with with a, with a great shot, and, and he had Pavekin on the back foot. But again, he just couldn't 
there was just that little something missing where he just couldn't follow it up and let them punches go and like I say Peter's identified these areas um, where he needs to work on he's got them working on them working on them in the gym every day and I think everybody will see uh, yeah. see the big changes yeah I mean, we've just obviously we've just been speaking there at the dinner table regarding ages of fighters and that um, I tend to agree with, with what's been said that there's you is 25 there's Fraser Clark he's he, he's 28 he's still an amateur and then yeah. there's Joe Joyce he's 33 yeah and they're talking about Joe being one of the next generations come through you he's got nine years on him eight nine years yeah. on him so I personally, and there's some people who I go with, we don't think that there's any rush. No, there isn't. And that uh, Yui's time will come, I think, I personally think he's just had bad luck and he's, he's not been dealt a few good hands, has he? That's no, I turned around to Peter the other day and I said, I think we need to scrap all opponents beginning with the letter P. Yeah. Pavek and Pulev and Parker yeah. <laughs> has three defeats, so, yeah. but you know, He's a the three P's. Yeah, the Thank three P's. P's. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think um, he's he's there's, there's no rush for him. Yeah. He's young. He's got plenty of time. You know, yeah. if you if you look if you look at, at heavyweight boxers, they don't come in the prime until the late twenties anyway. So you know, he's he's still in his mid twenties. And he's got plenty of time to, to yeah. climb his way right back up through the ranks and yeah. become world champion, stay there for a long time. I think he, me personally, you know, might be a bit biased, but yeah. I see him in the gym every day. I see what he's got, I see what he can do, yeah. and I think he can. I think he can become world champion, stay up there for a long time. Yeah, that's brilliant. Uh, moving on to Savannah Marshall, then. Yeah. Uh, how do you think Savannah's shaking up? Savannah's, she's she's a great talent. Undefeated. Oh yeah, she she's um, she is the full package. She's Savannah, you know. Again, dedicated. She's in the gym twice a day, every day. And I'll tell you what, for for a for a um, for a for a girl who's super middleweight, she can hit like most most heavyweight men. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Honestly, yeah. she's yeah. Uh, she's really really. I've seen good. a spar, spar yeah. middleweights. Um, oh yeah. Well, I was there when she got in a uh, she had a proper tail up with somebody from Jennings gym yeah. about a year ago. Yeah. She's not frightened, is she? Oh no. I mean she's a big glass six foot, yeah, twelve yeah. stone. Yeah. If she hits you, you're gonna go down like that and down less. Yeah. Which is an athlete, isn't she? She is, yeah. She's very fit. Easy to very work. strong. Yeah, very easy to work with, yeah. She's strong on bench press as well, isn't she? Yeah, she's 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 she lifts more than Morris Men. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where do you see Savannah Marshall in twelve months time, uh, Peter? World champion. Yeah. Possibly even unified world champion at, at two weights. Yeah. 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 What a middleweight and super middle. Mid yeah. Middleweight and super middleweight, yeah. Do you see a fight in Clarissa Shields in the next yeah. month? Yeah. Yeah, I would I'd say I'd say that's a that's a long term plan for Savannah. Mm -hmm. You know. Um when when a win a version of the world title at a, at super middleweight mm -hmm. and then have a couple of fights at middleweight, mm -hmm. see how she fares and and they're going for the unification boat with the uh, with, with Clarissa Shields. Yeah. Yeah. How do you see the women's uh Game shaping up at the moment because they've, they've come from nowhere and now yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a big business now. Oh, it is. It's 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 getting better. You know, it, it could be a lot better. Yeah. Um, but it, it is it is getting better, and I think um, you know I think that. I think the women, you know, they, they put just as much dedication in, if not yeah. more, at stages uh, than, than the men do. So I think they should get a lot more recognition than they actually do because, you know, working with Savannah day in, day out, yeah. I see the dedication that she's got and I see the sacrifices that she makes. And I think that, you know, the women's boxing should be, you know, more identified a little bit more for the sacrifices that they make. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you see. Boxing as a whole at the moment, in general, it's on everybody's lips, isn't it? Yeah. Have you have you seen? Uh, obviously, Joshua's been the driving force behind that yeah. where boxing is at the moment. In the end. How do you see boxing in the next five years in the UK? With with all the talent that we've got in yeah. the UK, I think it can only get bigger and better. Yeah. You know, we've 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 had a lot of world champions and got yeah. a lot of world champions, yeah. and you know. The flying the flag for the UK at the minute. Yeah. Uh, we've got a lot of talent in this country. We've got a young, lot of young up and coming talent as well. So, yeah, we've, we I think it can only get bigger and better. Yeah. You know, boxing went a little bit stale for a few years. Boxing and people sort of 
there wasn't that many big fights about was they yeah. so but in, in recent times there's 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 been a lot of interest. Flops Grove started off. That's it, yeah. There's yeah. there's been there's been a lot of interest and people have started tuning back into boxing and there's been a lot of big uh, crowd pulling fights so I think there's a lot more out there and it can only get bigger and better. Yeah. What uh, you know the gym that you're based at the Salford gym, yeah. is that is that Gary what's his name? Gary Birds, yeah. Gary Birds, yeah. How yeah. have you been knocking about down there? Um, I've, well I've been at the gym for for around two months now. Yeah. Um, but I say Gary's Gary's been there for you know 15 years. Uh, an ex-professional Gary himself, really nice fella, and and he does he does really good work with um, with, with a lot of young fighters, yeah. and he, he he does a really good job there. How uh, where about in Salford is the gym based? It's Earlham. Anyway. Earlham. Earlham. Is that yeah. in Manchester? Yeah, Earlham. Yeah, it's and, Manchester. Uh, is that amateur and professional? Yeah, it's amateur yeah. and professional. Yeah, he's got a, a lot of good young amateurs there. Yeah. Um, Few, few, few really good professionals that are coming through, yeah. male and female as well. So, um, so basically, you're enjoying it. Yeah, loving it. Yeah, it's a uh, laughing yeah. minute, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's, it's great being around. It's all right for right banter, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been always taking a bit out of each other, so it's good. Yeah. Have you got any sponsors you'd like to give a few shout-outs to? Um, yeah, yeah, Applied Nutrition, yeah, Thomas at Applied Nutrition, he does a great job sponsoring the team, provides us with everything that we need. Yeah, no, yeah that, that, that's, that's about it. That's about it, yeah. So, yeah. Salford Gym. Uh, yeah. and, and also uh, Healthy Box in Liverpool, who su supply Savannah with all, with all their meal preps. Yeah. Uh, they, they do great. It's a... Um, the, the, the provider uh, seven days a week with all in meals. So what healthy, company is that? Called? Healthy, healthy box in Liverpool. Healthy box in Liverpool. Yeah. Right, Savannah, that's a little uh, plug for you. The Savannah seems you swerved it today. <laughs> so all right, well, listen. Thank you very much. Thanks uh, very much. Nice to speak to you. Yeah, you too. And, uh, can I just give a shout out to uh, JJ Trump and Son and uh, Innovation Alloys. Thank you very much. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. That's the greatest sport in the world. Right then, to finish off with little Tom concentration. All right, now right, watch the cue ball. We're not doing anything stupid. All right, just little stun shots. You see, because you hit it too hard, look, little stun. Look, little stun shots. That's all they are. One into the bottom now. There you go. And then the last one. Mate, that's me done. Come on. Wait for a pint of orange. <laughs>